I have published a new application on a Play Store and I'm gonna showcase it right now. So it's basically an app that allows you to read the daily, weekly and monthly horoscope information for all zodiac signs. It's uh, totally free to use and uh, I have integrated some uh, non-intrusive ads along the way. The first time you open up this application, you will be prompted to select your zodiac sign. Afterwards, you can read those uh, daily, weekly and monthly horoscopes for the selected zodiac sign. For each zodiac, there are three main categories, and each category has a description along with some uh, general advice uh, related to that same category. You can also read some unique characteristics for each zodiac sign as well. Other than that, I have added a whole new section in the application specifically about the planets. You can read some general information about each planet, but also you have a separate screen where you can learn how that specific planet influences a selected zodiac sign and other quite detailed information. So bottom line, it's a really simple and straightforward application and it doesn't require a user authentication either. The link of this application will be down in the description. Now, you might be wondering, which API do I use to fetch daily, weekly and monthly astrological data? Well, I'm not using uh, any third-party APIs, because 99% uh, of them are uh, quite expensive, and this application uh, would hardly pay off if I were to pay one of those APIs. Instead, I'm using an AI to which I'm sending requests on a daily basis to get some fresh data and uh, update my database afterwards. Now, one interesting thing to note here is that uh, I have another application which is not published on a Play Store, but uh, it's uh, helping me a lot throughout this process. So there are three main benefits that I'm getting from this uh, second application. First, I'm using this application to save some extra money which I would have to pay on a backend server. Instead, this application acts as a backend server that uh, keeps my astrological data fresh every day. This application has a really simple UI, which is not that important since uh, I'm only one using it. It's uh, not available on a Play Store, only on my smartphone. The second benefit that I'm getting from this application, other than saving some money, is that uh, I can easily check and see whether the data is fresh and whether the data is uh, valid and not corrupt in any way. I have three horoscope categories here, daily, weekly and monthly. Each category has uh, two indicators. The first one on the top indicates whether the data is fresh and the second one indicates uh, whether the data is uh, not corrupt. The application itself uh, is uh, automatically logging an information about the time of the last API request and it uh, also uses a work manager behind the scenes to trigger a foreground service from the background to notify myself when the data is uh, being fetched and my database is uh, being updated. As you already know, it's not possible to trigger foreground service automatically from the background since uh, there are uh, some restrictions uh, in the Android system. Which is why I needed to manually disable a battery optimization option and also turn off this option to tell the system not to revoke one of those permissions that I have already granted, since this application will run every day from the background. The third benefit of having this uh, second application is that uh, my API key will not be compromised since I am the only one using this application after all. And also, this application is the only one who has a right permission to my database. All other users of my horoscope application have a read permissions only. Now, here is one more interesting thing to observe. When this application starts uh, fetching new data and uh, updating my database, I am uh, automatically displaying an informative screen in my horoscope application to inform the users to wait a minute or two until the data is uh, being refreshed. And that's it. Pretty convenient, right? Oh, and by the way, I have decided for the first time to sell the source code of uh, one of my applications. So if you're interested, feel free to check this out on my website. So, what do you think about this app and uh, the way it works? Comment down below and let me know. Thank you for watching.